uh, hope you all can hear me and see me. I would uh, like to thank uh, a group for social and analytical research uh, for inviting me uh, on this uh, uh, platform. And uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Nag, uh, for uh, presenting uh, presenting a paper uh, which is so wide in scope. You started from uh, school education and uh, took it to the higher education. I was expecting that uh, you would be speaking more on higher education, uh, only on higher education. I did not expect you to speak on school education, but uh, I really appreciate that you started with school education and it's uh, set the stage for, uh, for higher education because uh, school education is the area where uh, these issues, challenges, these problems, they uh, emanate, they origin and then uh, uh, the problems become mammoth uh, in size when we reach to higher education. You reminded me of my uh, graduation days. I was doing uh, elementary education, Bachelor of Elementary Education, and all those constructivist classrooms, language pedagogy, how to teach language, how to teach maths, how medium of instruction is important in teaching mathematical concepts or, uh, or other science, science concepts, or uh, even, even language. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I was... Uh, I became so nostalgic. Uh, thank you for reminding me all those uh, uh, days. Uh, I would like to focus on higher education. There are few areas which I would like to uh, uh, throw light on. When we talk about uh, higher education, parents, students, aspirants of higher education uh, uh, learners or students, when they look at higher education, there is a hope. If you look at the uh, higher education institutions, uh, mostly government institutions, government higher education institutions are the quality higher education institutions. And these learners, these students, they come up with a hope that we are going to get quality higher education. And then there is a hope that uh, to regain those opportunities, those experiences, and uh, which we, they could not uh, get in their uh, schoolings, and hope to have more and more egalitarian quality higher education. Uh, I would like to. Uh, uh, I will I would like to, sh I was to, uh, to, to speak in uh, Hindi and English both, so I'll try to speak in Hindi also. If we look at our higher education system, if we look at our higher education system, if we look at gross enrollment ratio, 26.3%. It's about 30 million students after uh, secondary education, after higher education, mein enter kar rahe hain. Aur kitne hazar ke karib universities hain. Uh, तकरीबन 40,000 के करीब कॉलेजेस हैं, तकरीबन 11,000 स्टैंड अलोन इंस्टीट्यूशंस हैं। मैसे मेमेंट स्ट्रक्चर। अगर आप ग्रोस ग्रोस एनरोलमेंट रेशियो देखते हैं, आफ्टर चाइना इट्स इंडिया, फॉलोड बाय यूएसए। सो यू कैन नॉट अंडरएस्टिमेट हाईर एजुकेशन। एंड दिस होप I do critical pedagogy and I it's their right, it's their human right to get quality higher education in their mother tongue. If you look at constitution, constitution ensures that. If you look at Radha Krishnan Commission's report, it promised that, Kutharika, and gradually you look at various commissions and uh, national uh, policy in education, every commission and uh, committee and uh, 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 policy is talking about right to have higher education in mother tongue. As Shivani was mentioning in her presentation about uh, national policy on education 2030, there is nothing new when it comes to education, medium of instruction in mother tongue. But my problem is why only 22 languages which are listed in eighth schedule? There are so many languages it's good that we don't call those languages as uh, dialects which do not have script. We have reached to that stage that we are calling all these languages, but uh, uh, discrepancy is still there. Uh, when we assign status to languages, 
as uh, Dr. Nag has rightly pointed out, that there are certain languages which are uh, higher in hierarchy, up in hierarchy, rest are not. So we need to think about that also with so many, 26.3% students, 30 million students who are in higher education. And how many of them are uh, taking, uh, how many of them are capable or uh, I should not use the word capable. How many of them are uh, uh, learning in their mother tongue? English is imposed. I completely agree with, with that. But I have a reservation that when it comes to aspirations, aspirations of parents, aspirations of students, we are sitting here. How many of us would not want our paper to be published in an international journal? We would want because we have created knowledge. Higher education has two purposes. One is transfer of knowledge. That's the lesser aim. That you transfer whatever is there, you transfer to your students and they know, okay, this is the existing knowledge. But the higher aim is to create knowledge. And as a human being, we all want to create. That's our, that, our, that, that's our part of a, a genetic system. If you go to prehistoric age from there till date, we are evolving. We are creating all of us in different manners. So creation of knowledge is higher aim of higher education. So why we deny this right to the, uh, to the uh, students uh, uh, who come to higher education? Uh, NEP also uh, highlights that uh, uh, to ensure that uh, uh, there'll be more and more uh, higher education institutions which would be giving uh, instruction in uh, mother tongue uh, and technology will be used. Let me, uh, Shivani has also mentioned, uh, Google is there, you can translate. I, uh, I it, on this platform, I don't know whether I should use it. I, I, I got an opportunity to, uh, to represent India along with our Ministry of, Minister of Education and uh, he likes to speak in Hindi. And just before we were uh, about to leave India, we were having a, a discussion uh, about his uh, uh, speech, which, would, which, would he, which he would like to give in uh, Hindi. So there was this Google translation, which the uh, ASOs have provided because they did not know how to translate this uh, English text, which was written by some professor from university. And now what they did, simple translation. And the script was in front of us and we did not know what to do with that because it was not making any sense. So when it comes to small words, you can rely on technology. But when it comes to, uh, as you said, concept, how to translate a concept? It's the beauty of human brain, human mind, which can translate idiomatically. So when you look at uh, 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 Japan, China, Taiwan, uh, even, even uh, Germany and France, uh, particularly China, the East Asian countries, South Korea, they have, a, they have invested massively in translation projects. And they have people who can idiomatically translate from uh, German and uh, French, or, or even uh, I was surprised to meet a Chinese. Uh, uh, he asked me, Madam, have you uh, read uh, Gitanjali by uh, uh, Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore? I did not. At that time, I, I didn't have any idea what was there in Gitanjali. Then he told me that in China, they have a policy, Nobel Prize winners, Booker Prize, whatever. The moment the book is out and has been awarded a prize, it's been translated in Chinese. I can ask Indian government or Indian state, not government, Indian state, that this is my constitutional right that I should have access to knowledge in my mother tongue. But then it comes to that there are financial, financial implications to that. 6% was suggested by Kuthari Commission. And this is uh, 2020. We are not honest. I blame not the state, but us all. Are we really uh, doing enough to ensure? Did we start any movement? No, 6%, that is it. So I would like to request Shivani and uh, uh, Gautam and others who are in the field, let's take up this issue. Your efforts would not uh, fructify it unless you ensure that enough is spent on school education and higher education. 
I would like to bring in Mahatma Gandhi and Ambedkar here uh, on the issue of language. Mahatma Gandhi, uh, he was writing in uh, Young India. Uh, uh, some universities inauguration happened. So he, he had written that uh, Jagdish Chandra Basu's research was published in English. And it was appreciated all over the world. But masses in India do not have access to it. Their own scholar, their own scientists, they don't know anything about his research. So he requested the university to teach in mother tongue. On the other hand, we have Ambedkar, who asked the people of his community that make your children uh, go to school and make them learn English, because that is the medium, that is the means to reach, to, uh, to access to cultural capital. So education, higher education provides cultural capital lots also. Uh, Pierre Bourdieu has, has done this, uh, uh, this commendable work in, in French, which was translated. And then now we uh, try to understand how this cultural capital uh, can be seen uh, in Indian context. And it's very much there. So those who have an access to higher education, they have little access to cultural capital. Those who have access to higher education in English, that too with the British accent or American accent, they have more access to cultural, value, cultural capital. And cultural capital converts into economic capital and other types of social capital. So uh, my uh, uh, view on English is that we need to ensure it's a global language. We should not shy away. Uh, it is important. And I really wish my uh, next generation, youngsters like you and those who are uh, uh, coming in future, I really want them to express not only in their mother tongue, but also in English. We cannot, we cannot ignore the importance of English. Skills, skills are very important. So much so that now we only talk about skills. So for, for us, education has become an equivalent of skill. You want to become a global citizen. Okay, you have got some training in skills and you want to earn uh, physical capital. You want to go to America, you want to go to Canada, you want to go to Europe. You need to learn a language. If not English, then French, even in Canada, they are bilingual. So you need to learn French. So we should not shy away from learning, learning language. It's a, it's, an, it's a great experience. I did my uh, research. It was a comparative study between Taiwan and India. My supervisor asked me, you're working on elementary education. You're going to go to elementary school. You need to learn Chinese. How can you do research unless you understand the language? If not completely, you should have nuanced understanding of it. So he sent me to, to an elementary school where I learned Chinese with first graders. So this is my request to my youngsters that learn not only one more language, two or three more languages. And if I'm wrong, please correct me, Shivani. Uh, 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 Chomsky has also uh, talked about that uh, and, and other linguists uh, 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 that uh, a child is born with universal grammar. And if you can expose a child to, to, at, to at, least, uh, at least five languages simultaneously, a child can learn between three and five languages. We have this capacity to learn language. We must learn more and more languages. So then we, we, we can truly say that we are a multilingual society. I live in North and I know Tamil. As Shivani said that she lived in Tamil Nadu and she could not, such, such, so, so disappointing, so disheartening that she could not learn Tamil uh, while living in Tamil Nadu. It's an irony. It's an irony that we live in such a, such a rich linguistic culture and uh, Northerners are aloof. They do not know anything about Southern languages. Southerners are always pressurized to learn Hindi, which uh, they are doing, whether by heart or uh, by compulsion, because uh, uh, they know that if they want to work in the North, they need to learn Hindi. So I would like to stop here. Thank you very much, Shivani, for such a brilliant presentation. And uh, uh, thank you, Sanjeev, and thank you, Shivani and Anamika, for such an enlightening enlightening uh, talk and uh, discussion and uh,
this is not a question but just a, a personal ethical dilemma a person who is born and brought up in a huge diverse background and there was a list of the what is the appreciation of it by the teachers by the students and by everyone for example i i truly believe that the language that we are having is derived from the environment that we are exposed to so i truly believe that it will be uh, too difficult to communicate to an eskimos whether they have heard about royal bengal tiger because this is an animal they have never seen or uh, i'm talking about the indigenous people out there aur agar dekhta bhi hai to mujhe lagta hai ki is tarah ke janwar jo hai wo apne sirf sapne mein aaya hoga aur they might be thinking it is a monster but the royal bengal tiger which is treasured and used as a deity by the tribals in sundarban delta so what i want to say is if there is a scope to increase the diversity of the language to appreciate the cultural diversity of the world and the best thing is to protect preserve and regard the biodiversity that is uh, around us so uh, the 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 dress that you are wearing uh, uh, the food that we are eating is all derived in uh, one way or the other from the environment that we are exposed to so uh, whether it is the mathematics or the psychology or the moral science or any kind of study that we do especially among the children i think uh, it is equally important that we should be sensible to the plants and animals that surrounds so a teacher who is being uh, transferred to a village a teacher who might have trained in the best institution of the state or the country when it comes to that particular area where he or she is being posted i'm just sharing this from my own personal experiences and my father who retired as a hindi teacher in the uh, jungles and in the hills of manipur i was born and brought up in the valley but my father got transferred to the hilly districts and i also happened to go there there are so much beauty and so much language so much culture but you know when a person who got a degree from an institution goes to those villages and started teaching a particular subject i think it is a heavy uh, Uh, what is the imposition of so many things okay uh, so so a generation is learning that the things that this particular teacher is teaching is much important the river where my mother goes and fish so there is a disconnection so i think it is uh, important for all the teachers and uh, like us whenever we are posted and go to some place we should try to uh, link my subject with the surroundings that we are and in that way i think we can contribute in a wholesome manner uh, regarding the protection and appreciation of the culture and linguistic diversity of the different places last but not least i truly believe that the linguistic diversity is proportionate to the diversity of plants and animals and things that we have so protecting our environment uh, the language have a big role to play and to a country like us i think linguistic diversity appreciation will serve be going hand in hand with the protection of the environment with the protection of uh, of things that we are very close to associated with so this is as a comment because you all are persons who are actively engaged in teaching and learning and pedagogy and uh, trying to discover something new to uh, what to say carry forward right. this whole spectrum of learning and we are the people who just appreciate environment teach some animals and plants in the university or in the colleges but the real uh, work Uh, is because as you are in the education field i hope uh, we should start from our own institution from our own learning uh, and contribute in appreciating the languages appreciating the cultures and thereby appreciating our diversity this is a comment and i'm really enlightened by the discussion and the talk and thanks also to the moderator uh, for introducing uh, the speakers and uh, getting us know the ideas uh, discussion and absolutely uh, dr anamika may not be from the linguist but uh, the kind of quotations and anecdotal things that you have shared have really clarified uh, and broadened uh, my understanding of the language and its importance but thank you so much thank you uh, i hope mera awaaz thoda sa better aa raha hai ha thoda better hai ab acha मतलब समझ समझ में में आ रहा है है ठीक ठीक थैंक यू मेरे कुछ सवाल है, आ, रिफ्लेक्शन है, सवाल हैं हैं कुछ उसी तरह की चीजें जैसे कि आ, मुझे जो मेन चीज नजर आई शिवानी जी आपके पूरे टॉक में वो था कि कहीं ना कहीं 
जो जड़ है वो है कि कॉन्सेप्चुअल बिल्डिंग नहीं हो पा रही है एक कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी डेवलप नहीं हो पा रही है जिसको मैं दो चीज से जोड़ के देख पा रहा हूँ और मैं चाहूंगा कि आप उस पर इलेबोरेट करें कभी कभी देखा जाता है कि कॉन्सेप्चुअल बिल्डिंग के लिए कौन सी एज अप्रोप्रिएट है मतलब हमारे सर्टन एजम्पन होते हैं बच्चा अभी क्या सीख सकता है उसके बारे में वो भी बड़ा डायरेक्ट करता है कि टीचर किस तरह से पढ़ाए और दूसरा होता है कि असेसमेंट और इवेल्युएशन के पैमाने किस तरह से ले आउट है जैसे आपने बार बार बोला कि हम रोड लर्निंग कर रहे हैं क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं इंस्ट्रूमेंटली लास्ट में आंसर लिख देना तो तो क्या पेडोगोजी इवेल्युएशन से और बच्चों के एजम्पन से कैसे जुड़ा हुआ है जब हम लैंग्वेज को देख रहे हैं इसके बारे में थोड़ा सा बताए थैंक यू डॉक्टर अनामिका फॉर योर वेरी यूजफुल रिफ्लेक्शन एंड कॉमेंट्स टू अदर पार्टिसिपेंट्स इन गौतम मैं गौतम आपके सवाल से शुरू कर कुछ चीज़ें हैं जो रिफ्लेक्शन अनामिका जी ने जो शेयर की उनसे जोड़ते हुए आपके सवाल तक आती हूँ देखिए पहली चीज़ जो यू नो अभी एक इकोलॉजिकल डाइवर्सिटी पर भी एक बहुत अहम बात आई and this is very true that you know ecological diversity and linguistic diversity are related in the sense you know if you do uh, for example imagine a community who's close to a certain geographical ecosystem right they would have a language that would understand the complexities of that ecosystem the varieties that exist in that ecosystem way better than a community that is not close to it and their language right will have vocabulary to be able to uh convey and communicate this complexity and this nuances and this diversity now if this language is lost you also risk losing the knowledge of this diversity and thereby the scope of being able to you know protect it right so these uh, there is a close link between linguistic and ecological diversity uh and coming to you know uh, concepts dekhiye concepts har age mein develop hote hain राइट right? हमारे कॉन्सेप्ट सिंपल से एब्स्ट्रैक्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स होते जाते हैं कॉन्सेप्ट बिल्डिंग बिगेन्स यू नो इवन बिफोर यू जॉइंट द स्कूल हम स्कीमर्स बनाना शुरू कर देते हैं राइट right? कि uh, हमारे कॉन्सेप्ट्स बिल्ड करना ये पानी है uh, क्या चीज यू नो छोटा बच्चा भी धीरे धीरे ये समझ जाता है कि यहाँ पे हाथ लगाना है यहाँ पे हाथ नहीं लगाना है यहाँ से गिर जाएगा वहां से नहीं गिरेगा क्या चीज मुंह में डालना है क्या चीज मुंह में नहीं डालना है राइट सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर बेस्ड ऑन सर्टेन कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड सम अंडरस्टैंडिंग्स सो देयर इज नो वन एज वेयर यू नो कॉन्सेप्ट बिल्डिंग हैपेंस इट्स जस्ट दैट आर कॉम्प्लेक्स आर कॉन्सेप्ट्स बिकम मोर न्यूएंस एंड मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स विद एवरी पासिंग स्टेज राइट सो ईच स्टेज हैज अ पोटेंशियल टू इन्फ्लुएंस द नेक्स्ट स्टेज किसी भी एक स्टेज पे Uh, अगर हम इस कॉन्सेप्ट बिल्डिंग कॉन्सेप्ट न्यूएंसिंग के प्रोसेस को सपोर्ट नहीं कर पाते हैं तो वहां पे चैलेंजेस आना शुरू हो जाएंगे यू नो वी आल्सो सी चिल्ड्रन हु स्टार्ट रिमार्केबली वेल इन अर्लियर क्लासेस एंड यू नो व्हाई इज इट दैट सडनली यू नो चिल्ड्रन बिकम स्केयर्ड ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स आफ्टर कमिंग टू अ पर्टिकुलर ग्रेड क्योंकि वहां पर हम उनको उन कॉन्सेप्ट को एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन कर पाने में पॉसिबल uh, हम हम सक्सेसफुल नहीं हो पाते हैं राइट सो वी आर नॉट एबल टू लिंक दोज कॉन्सेप्ट टू देयर रियालिटी दिस इज नॉट टू से कि हर कॉन्सेप्ट टेंजिबल ही होगा लेकिन जहाँ पे स्कोप है राइट right? हम वहां से भी उसको डाइवर्स डिवोर्स uh, कर देते हैं दैट यू नो आई वॉज अ मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट टिल क्लास ट्वेल्व and i did fairly fine in mathematics in terms of solving problems you know the integration differential equations matrices uh, till date i don't know what is their purpose hum determinants or matrices kyun karte hain i i don't know you give me but when i was doing them you give me a question i would solve them because i had learned that this is some kind of puzzles right lekin mai you know to do maths and to enable child to think mathematically if i am being able to solve a problem and yet cannot think as to why that problem is important how that problem helps a physicist understand the world right then that means there is some fundamental problem in our teaching of mathematics ki maine mai mere ko lagta hai you know after my class uh, I, i finished my class 12 uh, 
uh, when I had scored well in mathematics and somebody suggested do a maths honours, I just didn't know what will I do doing maths honours because for me it was something fun, you know. Up, up, kuch algebraic equations hote hai. I'd figured out how to crack them, but I didn't know what they mean, what their use is. You know, how are they related to physics? How are they related to our understanding of our world? So concept building happens at each stage. Our complex keep on becoming more abstract, more nuanced, more complex. So each stage impacts the next stage. Uh, regarding evaluation and assessment, of course, you're very right that, you know, our हम बोलेंगे कि हम कॉन्सेप्ट बिल्डिंग कराना चाहते हैं लेकिन फिर हम क्वेश्चन पूछ लेंगे डेफिनेशन पे या कुछ ऐसा क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे कि उसमें सिर्फ रोट मेमोराइजेशन का ही रिस्पांस संभव हो तो ऑफ कोर्स प्रॉब्लम है सो वी हैव टू थिंक ऑफ यू नो व्हाट इज इट दैट वी टर्म असेसमेंट आई विल शेयर एन एग्जांपल विद यू यू नो माय ग्रेजुएशन एंड माय मास्टर्स आर इन साइकोलॉजी and in masters i was my special papers were in clinical psychology i was interning with the adolescent and child guidance clinic uh, and you know uh, there was a child i was working with who was in grade 9 aur usko usko laya to gaya tha is clinic mein because uh, he had stopped talking and you know the initial diagnosis was of depression but gradually we figured out that there was also a major learning disability right uh, usko dyslexia tha and uh, you know it so happened that this child was extremely interested in uh, preparing different models you know wo uh, car ka battery nikal ke usko uske sath kuch karke wiring connect karke he would make new stuff uh, windmill banana you know ki kis tarike se circuit pe kaam karna hai ye sab cheeze wo bahut badhiya se karte the and an incident had happened in school kyunki wo likh nahi pate the aur hum physics bhi likhne se hi judge karte hain uh, you know he was termed as a bad student when he submitted his summer, summer project which he had really worked on and this was something that he could do wo likh nahi pata tha lekin ye wala cheez hai wo bahut acche se karta tha the teacher refused to believe that this guy could have made this model you know she kind of humiliated him in the class ki wo kahin se ये खरीद के लाया है या उसने किसी से बनवाया है क्योंकि जो बच्चा लिख नहीं सकता है थ्योरी वो ये मॉडल कैसे बनाएगा एंड यू नो इट मेड मी थिंक दैट एज अ फिजिक्स स्टूडेंट यू नो आई सीरियसली आई आई एम नॉट आई आई डोंट हैव द कंडीशन ऑफ डिसलेक्सिया आई कैन रीड एंड राइट वेल आई न्यू आई वाज बैड एट फिजिक्स मेरे को नहीं समझ में आता था जिस तरीके से सिखाते थे बट आई कुड मेमोराइज वेल राइट so by memorizing and writing physics well i could score marks and here is a person who knows what to do with those concepts i have no idea what to do with the concepts that i was you know writing about ki agar matlab viscosity ko main imagine nahi kar pati thi but was kuch problems crack karna aur likhna aata tha right so this is one example of how our assessments are so flawed that we are judging everything by whether you are able to write a theory and we have no way of seeing how do you understand you know so of course our assessment our evaluation will have to be more application based uh, you know even in writing we'll have to think of better questions jaise english agar language ka subject hai to uske questions sirf text mein kya hua ke bare mein hi kyun honge if our idea is to help child develop understanding of english and be able to communicate well in english you know then our questions will have to be more and more about you know the child's reflections on probably the ideas in the textbook uh, what is the child's analysis of the events that happened in the textbook can the child imagine it differently right so i mean there is so there are different kind of questions that are possible Uh, which will have to reflect in our assessment you know and here i i would just want to add two three uh, points after uh, listening uh, to anamika ji one is that definitely you know multilingualism is something that has to be promoted when we are talking about mother tongue based education uh, you know the models that i have worked with are actually called mother tongue based multilingual education multilingualism is important kyunki uske cognitive proven cognitive benefits hai यू नो अगर आप ज्यादा भाषाओं में बात करते हैं और ज्यादा भाषाओं में सोच सकते हैं आप देखिए क्योंकि हर भाषा का यू नो बहुत सारे भाषाओं के स्ट्रक्चर्स अलग हैं किसी में सिमिलैरिटी है जैसे मैंने कहा कि हर भाषा अपने कल्चर से इन्फॉर्म्ड होती है तो आपके पास जितनी ज्यादा भाषाएं हैं राइट 
आपका पर्सपेक्टिव आपका दायरा उतना बढ़ेगा सेकेंड आपके पास जितनी भाषाएं हैं यू नो यूल मोर न्यूरोनल नेटवर्क यूल हैव टू डू मोर सिंथसाइजिंग यूल बी के आई हैव अ नीड्स शी इज शी वॉज थ्री वेन आई लास्ट मेट हर एंड हर मदर इज फ्रॉम नेपाल राइट शी इज एबल टू स्पीक इंग्लिश हिंदी एंड नेपाली एट थ्री and you know the interesting thing is she knows who's to speak nepali with so she knows that i am her father's sister so she shouldn't be speaking nepali to me she will speak nepali with whom she identifies as a mother's friends or relatives it's a 3 year old you know so imagine this kind of a complex thinking that a 3 year old is doing ki language ka ek pragmatic aspect bhi hai ki language kab kiske sath kaise use karna hai so multilingual multilingualism has been a uh, research and it has found out that it's linked to definite cognitive benefits the other thing is multilingualism also makes us more democratic ye hamesha jinka language uh, you know global language nahi hai ya language of national importance nahi hai sirf unhi pe bhar kyon rahega multilingual hone ka to ek agar aap santhal hai to aapko स्टेट का लैंग्वेज भी सीखना चाहिए आपको इंग्लिश भी सीखना चाहिए आपको ये भी सीखना चाहिए लेकिन जिसको अंग्रेजी आती है उसको और कुछ सीखने की जरूरत नहीं है यू नो दिस देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम हियर इट आल्सो क्रिएट्स फॉर अ वेरी अनएम्पथेटिक वर्ल्ड हियर आई वांट टू शेयर अनदर एग्जाम्पल यू नो वॉट हैल्सो अंडरस्टैंड कि कई बार क्लास में जब एक बच्चा जो वो भाषा पहले से जानता है और यू नो जब हम भाषा की बात करें वी व्हेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट लार्जली द डिसप्रिवलेज मार्जिनलाइज दे आर आल्सो पीपल हु डोंट हैव एक्सपोजर टू अदर लैंग्वेजेस यू नो माय मदर टंग इज नॉट इंग्लिश बट आई वाज रेज्ड इन एन अर्बन कॉन्टेक्स्ट आई ऑलवेज हैड एक्सपोजर टू इंग्लिश यू नो विज बी अ चाइल्ड लिविंग इन अ विलेज इन अ गजपति डिस्ट्रिक्ट जहां पे एक्सपोजर नहीं है राइट दे डोंट हैव रीडिंग मटेरियल्स एंड स्टफ so for them to cope with an imposed language is way more difficult having said that you know what happens imagine a classroom situation jisme english medium of instruction hai kuch bacche aise hain jinke ghar pe english bola jata hai ya at least parents support kar sakte hain english seekhne mein uh, bachpan se hi you know literature available hai cinderella ke books aur hansel and gretel aur ye sab pade hue hain aur ek aur bachcha hai jo uh, aise ghar se aata hai jahan pe english nahi bolte जहाँ पे इंग्लिश में आपको बहुत सारा मटेरियल नहीं मिलेगा जहाँ पे अगर अखबार भी आता है तो वो हिंदी में आता है अब जब टीचर क्लास में एक कॉन्सेप्ट इंग्लिश में ही समझाती है और इंग्लिश में ही समझाने की कोशिश करती है देन अफकोर्स इट इज इजियर फॉर द चाइल्ड हु कमिंग फ्रॉम एन इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग बैकग्राउंड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड इट्स डिफिकल्ट फॉर द चाइल्ड हु कमिंग विद हिंदी स्पीकिंग बैकग्राउंड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट now here you know there is a psychological question also what happens is you know children don't know that this is an institutional problem somewhere this english speaking child is likely to believe ki wo zyada you know usme merit hai right wo jaldi samajh jata hai so he is faster and that is what even you know teachers also reinforce ye dekho kitna jaldi wo samajh gaya जो बच्चा नहीं समझा कोई ये नहीं समझेगा कि वो इसलिए नहीं समझा क्योंकि आप उसके भाषा में बात नहीं कर रहे थे और अगर यही कॉन्सेप्ट हिंदी में समझाया होता तो वो उतना ही फास्ट समझता ग्रेजुअली दिस चाइल्ड इज लाइकली टू इंटरनलाइज इट एज हिज और हर ओन इनएबिलिटी टू अंडरस्टैंड राइट सो यू हैव सम पीपल हु बिकॉज दे आर ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग इंग्लिश एंड दे गेट अ कॉन्सेप्ट फास्टर दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दैट द इंस्टीट्यूशन इज प्रिवलेजिंग दे इंटरनलाइज इट एज देर ओन मेरिट and there are others who internalize it as their own lack of ability which it is not it is an institutional disadvantage and you know here i want to share an example uh, last summer i had i was visiting germany and some schools of germany so there was a you know migrant a uh, lot of uh, turkish migrants there so i went to a bilingual school jisme Eng- english or german dono uh, languages mein har subject padhaya jata hai so i asked this turkish girl you know how did she feel find the school and she said she loved the school she hated her previous school which was only german medium and i asked her why because i was surprised you know this she is a turkish girl uh, so uske liye to na english medium, mother tongue hai na german mother tongue hai so why is this bilingual school useful for her 
and you know she is she was she was in class 7 or 8 and her response will surprise you and she was able to understand this look at the nuancing of this response jab us ladki ko pucha gaya ki aapko you know english aur german wala school kyun pasand hai ye bilingual wo boli jab main german school mein thi tab sirf mere ko dikkat hoti thi ab jab main is bilingual class mein hu main dekh sakti hu ki jo german bacche hain unko angrezi ki class mein dikkat hoti hai so now at least she knows that you know where she is struggling it's not her problem right and the german students are also able to see that when they have to learn in another language they also struggle right so now they will not think that she is a you know she is somebody who can't cope right so that so you know, you know imagine a classroom a multilingual classroom where everybody has to learn another's language or in another's language at least one other language each of us will be able to experience what it means when you know the uh, you're being taught in your language and what does it mean when you know you have to try and learn in another language then this idea of merit and the idea of own ability will not be internalized that way it will create for a far more empathetic classroom space it would create for a far more democratic classroom space and you know like i was sharing that example about tamil my point was that you know i did pick up tamil it's just that i did not pick up tamil from classrooms i picked up tamil because i was interacting with my friends i would love to watch movies in tamil with them to maine itna tamil movie dekh liya tha ki now i am unable to speak because for over a period of a decade i have not spoken to anybody in it right when i was teaching in odisha my students taught me odia right so because university ka medium of instruction english tha lekin kai students jo odia medium se aaye the unko english mein dikkat hoti thi wo hindi phir bhi behtar samajh lete the lekin wo sawal puchne ke liye uh, they felt comfortable in odia so i told them you know let's do one thing right they they are able to understand hindi aap sawal odia mein pucho i'm sure somebody will translate it to me so they would translate each other's question for me uh you know they would teach me odia and that also then see when uh, multilingualism doesn't mean that a teacher will always know the language of students but she can be open to learning the language of students it also creates for a more symmetrical distribution of power at least better symmetrical distribution of power in classroom you know where I, my my students are also teaching me something and one more point which i really want to make you know uh, when anamika anamika ji was talking about translations that definitely we have to invest in translations and you know when we talk about multilingualism it's not just about translating one book in many languages you know maine gitanjali padha hai mujhe bahut acha laga hai aur fir bhi mere bangla dost mujhe bolte hain agar tumne gitanjali bengali mein nahi padha to tum kuch miss kar rahe ho ki usko maine prem you know eid ka ek premchand ki kahani hai और ईद का का एक अच्छा इंग्लिश ट्रांसलेशन कुशवंत सिंह ने किया है और कुशवंत सिंह क्योंकि खुद एक राइटर है यू नो फिक्शन राइटर है हम इमेजिन कर सकते हैं कि जब वो किसी कहानी का ट्रांसलेशन करेंगे तो वो क्लोज इन ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन होगा आप वो दोनों कहानी पढ़ के देखिए ही कैन नॉट गेट यू नो वॉट ईद का इन हिंदी साउंड लाइक यू नो हिंदी में एक कहीं पे एक लाइन आती है कि कुछ तो वो बच्चा बहुत दुखी था तो उस वो एक कहीं पे एक वो आता है कि ऐसा लग रहा था जैसे यू नो ईद मुहर्रम में बदल जाएगी उसको आप इंग्लिश में किसी और लैंग्वेज में नहीं कैप्चर कर सकते हो सो इट वाज अबाउट यू नो ही ट्रांसलेट्स इट इनटू यू नो दैट द जॉय विल टर्न इनटू सैडनेस बट इट्स नॉट यू नो इट इट डजंट गेट दैट दैट एक्सप्रेशन इज समथिंग एल्स राइट सो ऑफ कोर्स देयर इज यू नो multilinguality will promote greater empathy greater understanding of cultures and we are talk when we are talking about multilinguality let us also understand you know ki jaise maine kaha language is static nahi hai to aapne journals ki bhi baat ki anamika ji pehli cheez ye hai ki hum logo ko agar hum movement ki baat kar rahe hain like i said hindi mera mother tongue nahi hai but over the last few years i have made systematic attempts to write academically in hindi to get published in hindi even if it isn't a journal that if i'm arguing about multilingual multilingualism i will write in hindi i'm writing in english but i will also write in hindi and i will push myself to write academic discourses in more than one language right uh, we'll have to create those journals and 
इसकी लाहौल लैंग्वेजेस डिवेलप हर लैंग्वेज में सारे शब्द पहले से नहीं होते अगर उस लैंग्वेज में आप लिखेंगे ही नहीं उस लैंग्वेज में आप जिस लैंग्वेज में रिसर्च होने लगेगा अपने आप शब्द डिवेलप होंगे कंप्यूटर हमने कंप्यूटर का आविष्कार नहीं किया था ना लेकिन हमने बहुत चीजों का आविष्कार नहीं किया है लेकिन जब वो हमारे कॉन्टेक्स्ट में आए तो हमने उनके लिए शब्द डिवेलप किए राइट सो वी हैव हिंदी वर्ड्स फॉर कंप्यूटर एंड ट्रेन एंड डिफरेंट अदर टेक्नोलॉजीज so when you start you know even with tribal languages and like what anamika ji said that it's not just the languages in the eighth schedule that you have to work on other languages how will they grow jab aap usme kuch print hi nahi karenge jab aap usme kuch padhayenge hi nahi jab aap usme padhane ki koshish karenge agar kuch shabd nahi hai to aapko aap shabd naye aayenge us bhasha mein right aur bhasha ye dusre se bhi leti hai agar hindi koi school likhe स आधा स क बड़ा ऊ का मात्रा और ल कोई नहीं बोलेगा कि ये गलत हिंदी है आपको तो विद्यालय लिखना चाहिए था वी लर्न टू एक्सेप्ट राइटिंग स्कूल इन राइट नो बडी आप टीवी भी हिंदी में लिख लीजिए राइट तो वो लैंग्वेजेस ग्रो करेंगे लेकिन वो लैंग्वेजेस कब ग्रो करेंगे अगर आप उसमें पढ़ाएंगे नहीं उसमें आप कोई नॉलेज एडवांसमेंट नहीं करेंगे फिर आप बोल देंगे वो लैंग्वेज इतना रिच नहीं है उसमें पढ़ाई नहीं हो सकती है मतलब आप पढ़ाएंगे नहीं तो ऑब्वियसली पढ़ाई नहीं हो पाएगी आप पढ़ाना शुरू करेंगे उसमें आप उनमें लिखना शुरू करेंगे उसमें और लिटरेचर आएगा यू नो अनलेस एंड अनटिल यू इन्वेस्ट इन मोर प्रिंटिंग इन दैट लैंग्वेज यू डू रिसर्च इन दैट लैंग्वेज व्हेन यू स्टार्ट डूइंग रिसर्च यू नो व्हेन वी राइट वी ऑल नो वी वी ऑल्सो डिवेलप न्यू वर्ड्स आप जो मैं अभी भी मैं अगर कभी भी लिखती हूँ इनविजिबलाइजेशन माई वर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट ऑलवेज टेल्स मी देर इज नो वर्ड लाइक इनविजिबलाइजेशन राइट इफ यू राइट कैप्टनाइजेशन योर वर्ड विल टेल यू देर इज नो वर्ड लाइक दैट यू राइट दलित इट विल से देर इज नो वर्ड लाइक दैट लेट इट टेल वी स्टिल यू नो वी वी यूज दीज वर्ड्स वी इन्वेंट वर्ड्स टू एक्सप्रेस वॉट शिफ्ट आर है so unless we start in you know thinking that all languages are languages in which academic discourse can grow they will not grow right so we don't let something grow and then we say that you know it we don't let it grow because it cannot grow very very kind of a circular argument i think uh, dr anamika wants to respond to some of what you said thank you gautam uh, i'll take you back Uh, to to shivani's uh, initial comment when she was talking about conceptual uh, development i would like to add here uh, we have uh, we have been emphasizing so much on pedagogy how to teach a discipline how to teach a subject that somehow we have forgotten that nature of that subject is very important and mostly uh, teacher educators who are training teachers for future school education they do not talk about the nature of uh, of that uh, subject for example mathematics the nature of mathematics is such that you learn to mathematize but how many mathematics uh, pedagog they really know about the nature of mathematics so when you talk about conceptual development you have to bring in the nature of discipline also and as uh, shivani said that yes uh, it's a continuous process some concepts to develop later on but when it comes to mathematics the nature is such that if you do not understand the basic concepts at the earlier level you cannot uh, uh, reach to higher stage uh, of that discipline to to mathematize and uh, piaget uh, uh, if we look at piaget's theory shivani you uh, may not, may be knowing more than i do uh, the final stage a uh, formal operation uh, is it formal operation how many of us can reach to that piaget himself says that mostly we uh, remain to concrete operational we do not many of us can go beyond that so that's also a limitation so when we talk about conceptual development we have to take into account various factors it's not a singular uh, uh, direction in which you can uh, you can focus just pedagogy no you have to bring in other factors also 
and uh, uh, once again uh, uh, when we say that uh, shivani was mentioning that asanthali has to learn english and uh, uh, those who know english they do not need to learn any other language uh, uh, when i was talking about uh, language i didn't mean just to cl clarify that i believe in multilingualism true multilingualism where uh, northerners are learning southerners language and all indians are learning international languages and uh, uh and english is so important if you look if you all remember uh, i don't know whether you all remember or not there, there there is still this book called rapidex english speaking course hmm. one million copy in nearly uh, nearly one million copy every year in 16 languages malayalam tamil telugu so you cannot and then uh, these coaching institute oxford english uh, coaching institute american english coaching institute and then there is uh, uh, th th there may be one ancient english ancient english coaching institute what is this you cannot ignore the need or aspirations of of the masses they want to learn if you are not going to provide them a right uh, kind of environment they will learn from rapidex english speaking course or they will go to these uh, coaching institutions elites they send their uh, uh, children to british council they spend a lot of money on uh, on english language courses so how to address this issue of parental aspirations and which gets transferred to the uh, children my own daughter uh, she is so fortunate that she is studying in sardar patel vidyalay where uh, until fifth the medium of instruction is hindi and interestingly there is a korean student in her class who speaks hindi she has learned it in 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 these classrooms and uh, uh, there are gujaratis who speaks hindi there are tamilians there are bengalis they all learn hindi till uh, grade 5 they learn in hindi and then they they also learning english but english the way it should be taught using the mother tongue or using the medium of instruction which is prevalent in the in, in the in the class or in the school uh so we have to be we we really we really need to bring in this 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 aspiration of of people and uh, who are we to decide that who would study what but if they want to study something they want to learn a language who are we to say no to it thank you uh, and amrita uh, i would just shivani to respond here yeah. yes you know i one thing is you know as researchers like there are always aspirations and one is not discounting the aspirations at all but like i shared in the earlier uh, section of what i was saying also you know that when the uh, multilingual education mother tongue based multilingual education was started as a pilot uh, in a largely tribal dominated village in odisha right initially the parents were not very happy because you know they are thinking in terms of employment but they don't understand the relationship the kind that we are talking about right and after a few years when they saw that the child is actually learning uh they were happy with these programs and then they actually resisted any shutting down of these programs so as uh, of course i i mean i'm i i definitely uh, do not uh, mean to say ki in, we shouldn't i mean there is any stance against english or that we don't recognize the aspirations in english uh, but as researchers who are recognizing the benefits of concept like we talked about conceptual foundations like parents sometimes don't understand that so as a state you know it it's not just about responding to aspirations it's also about shaping more equitable aspirations you know why do students in germany not aspire for english like the way in india do so it you know of course i mean i'm i'm not saying anybody who wants to study in english should not be allowed and i i'm still saying you know there should be a better pedagogy of english uh, even when it comes to higher education we should know that english support programs are not like the fluency programs they'll have to be more uh, informed that they are engaging with higher education students right having said all of that you know if there are employment opportunities in other languages if there is higher education possible in other languages uh then you know this aspiration will also get reflected in different ways i mean i think two of uh, you here are from ambedkar university you've seen the language uh, debates and movement in the university itself 
where we also know that there are students with aspirations that we want to do higher education in our mother tongue right so there are multiple aspirations you know uh, the, the aspirations are also shaped by you know how the world is if there are employment opportunities in different languages if they see work is happening in all languages maybe there is some shift in the aspiration and what i do feel is that you know when as researchers and being active in the field we do understand some of the you know pedagogic benefits of mother tongue teaching then i think one part of the activism would also be to reach out to parents and be able to explain to them you know kyunki uh, you know jo main shalini advani ke book ki baat kar rahi thi usme ye bhi hai ki you know parents jaise uh, uh, koi uh, lady hai wo domestic help hai uska ekdam aspiration hai ki uska bachcha angrezi seekhe to wo usko uh, ek low cost english medium school mein dal di hai uh, aur school mein bas wo bachcha rhyme seekh raha hai my name is seekh raha hai kya sikhaya ja raha hai us bachche ko samajh nahi aa raha hai but she is happy because the child when she comes back the child is able to recite some poems in english whether the child understands or not she doesn't know the child is able to seek name in english but later on when this child struggles right she doesn't know what is happening then the same mother has to spend more on tutors who can help this child navigate this english medium school right so some sometimes it is possible that people may not always understand the challenges you know we talk about play based learning uh i have also seen you know am i own grandfather when my cousin and she is almost 10 15 years younger to me when she went to play school ab wo mere grandfather fifth ke baad kabhi school nahi gaye the so when this little girl comes back and you know he asks her what happened in the school and she said hum khele humne clay se khela humne isse khela usse khela वो सुने और उसके बाद बोले इसके स्कूल का फीस क्यों दे रहे हैं अगर खेलना तो ये घर पे भी कर सकती है स्कूल में तो कुछ हो नहीं रहा है I have friends you know whose children are going to these uh, schools which were started with an alternative imagination that rote memorization nahi hoga they will not be a marks oriented exams oriented and now these schools have begun to change because there is pressure from parents ki aap sikha nahi rahe hain uh, you know hamara bachcha ab homework aap homework nahi dete hain uh, aap marks ke liye push nahi karte hain to thoda sa parents se bhi engage इसमें करना पड़ेगा नॉट डिनाइंग दी एस्पिरेशन नॉट सींग दैट दी एस्पिरेशन फॉर एनी लैंग्वेज इन इट सेल्फ इज प्रॉब्लमैटिक बट टू लुक एट वेयर दिस एस्पिरेशन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम एंड सी इफ वी क्रिएट अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन अदर लैंग्वेजेस पीपल विल स्टिल एस्पायर टू लर्न मोर लैंग्वेजेस एंड दे शुड राइट बट इफ दैट शेपिंग वी कैन यू नो इन्फ्लुएंस अ लिटिल बाय क्रिएटिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन मोर लैंग्वेजेस टू just to just to tell you that i was talking about higher education and uh, learners who are going to higher education uh, my focus was not school education so even for higher education i'm saying like you know i mean in uh, there are two uh, ex aud students here and they'll tell you how great the demand has been ki why are we making we we being made to access higher education in a language that we don't want to so aspirations for english are there but we also have to recognize that there are aspirations for other languages also and just as we can't deny aspirations in english you know we we shouldn't be denying aspirations in other languages that's all that i'm trying to say i'm not saying yes. let's deny yes. aspirations in yes. english yeah. but me, me too i am also arguing for the same uh, aspirations in english is leading us to deny aspirations of others to be able to learn in their language you know i have a student in this university who writes absolutely fine right in his last term paper he wanted to he, he submitted the entire assignments in hindi and he has been a vocal uh, you know person around rights of rights to higher education in hindi right so he, i mean he was making a statement there where he said you know mai mai likh sakta hu mere ko samajh mein aata hai लेकिन मैं अपनी भाषा में इसको लिखना चाहता हूँ
Thank you. Thank you for that discussion. Uh, Sanjeev, do we have more time for more questions? So, mm -hmm. I can ask you questions. Is there time, Gautam? Yes, it was our closing time. But I think we can place one question. So, my question is a little bit more than my own research. And because when I was researching our जब मैं रिसर्च कर रहा था तो हमारा पैटर्न कुछ ऐसा था कि पहले हमें फील्ड में जाना है उसके बाद डिसाइड करना है कि हमारा क्या मेथड मेथोडोलॉजी वगैरह क्या रहेगा ये हमें पैटर्न यूनिवर्सिटी ने दे दिया लेकिन जब फील्ड में गया और फील्ड से लेकर के आया कि मुझे कटहल के ऊपर काम करना है लाइक इन सांथल कॉन्टेक्स्ट सो दैट इंग्लिश ऑफ कटहल इज जैक फ्रूट सो आई वाज आस्क्ड वेदर यू आर यू आर प्लानिंग टू वर्क ऑन जैक फ्रूट एज ए फ्रूट और जैक फ्रूट एज ए वेजिटेबल एंड ये जो डिस्टिंक्शन है कि जैक फ्रूट का फ्रूट है या वेजिटेबल है ये डिस्टिंक्शन वहां पे नहीं था जिस फील्ड से मैं आ रहा था और यहाँ पे मुझे फोर्स किया जा रहा है कि नहीं आपको ये तय करना पड़ेगा कि वो फ्रूट्स पे आप काम कर रहे हैं या वेजिटेबल के ऊपर काम कर रहे हैं तो वो जो कॉन्सेप्ट की जो बात आती है कि कॉन्सेप्ट कैसे चेंज भी करता है अपना अलग अलग कॉन्टेक्स में अलग अलग समय के साथ भी और शिवानी आपने जो एग्जाम्पल दिया लिंचिंग का तो वो जो उस उस मूवी में जो एक्सप्लेन किया है लिंचिंग शब्द का अर्थ वो आज का मीनिंग अगर हम देखें कि आज लिंचिंग का मतलब मारना काटना पब्लिकली किसी को पीट दिया ये सब लिंचिंग मतलब होता है लिंचिंग लेकिन उस मूवी में जो कॉन्टेक्स्ट में समझाया गया लिंचिंग का मतलब कि वो आपको साइकोलॉजिकली फिजिकली आपको फिट रखना है साइकोलॉजिकली वीक एंड डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द मास्टर से तो जिस तरह से उसका मीनिंग भी बदल बदला है यहाँ पे भी मीनिंग मीनिंग अलग अलग कॉन्टेक्स्ट में जाकर के और जो बात चल रही है कि इफ यू नो इंग्लिश देन यू डोंट नीड टू नो एनी अदर लैंग्वेज वही चीज यहाँ पे सवाल आ जाता है कि जब जैक फ्रूट मैं कटहल के ऊपर काम करना चाह रहा हूँ तो फिर मुझे क्यों जैक फ्रूट के ऊपर काम करने के लिए मजबूर किया जा रहा है और आपने एक स्पेस दिया मैथड दिया कि आप जाओ पहले फील्ड में जाओ फील्ड से मैथड मैथडोलॉजी सब कुछ डिसाइड करके लाओ और जब मैं लेके आ रहा हूँ तो मुझे फिर से कहा जा रहा है कि नहीं आपको इस सिस्टम में ऐसे ही काम करना है आपको आपके आपका क्लियरिटी होना चाहिए व्हाट इज योर मेथड एंड मेथडोलॉजी बिफोर इवन स्टार्टिंग योर रिसर्च तो ये इस पे मुझे मतलब थोड़ा सा हायर एजुकेशन में लैंग्वेज और इस चीजों को लेकर के ये बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग सवाल आपने पूछा है और पता है ये सवाल इसलिए भी इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि यू नो दिस इज अगेन हम रिसर्च में डिफरेंट पैराडाइम्स की बात करते हैं राइट दिस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस आइडिया की एक फिजिकल वर्ल्ड है और हमारा लैंग्वेज उसको बहुत एप्ली डिफाइन करता है और लैंग्वेज स्टैटिक है अगर हम नॉन पॉजिटिविस्ट रिसर्चर्स को देखें जहां पे हम हम एज अ रिसर्चर हमारा काम अपने शब्द फाइंडिंग्स पे इम्पोज करना नहीं है पर यह समझना है कि उस कॉन्टेक्स्ट में शब्द का मतलब क्या है राइट right? अगर हम उन फ्रेमवर्क के साथ रिसर्च करें then that framework will actually require you to work with kathal kyunki kathal is the shabd jo wahan pe bola ja raha hai aur un communities se samajhna ki kathal unke liye kya hai agar hum santhal context mein kaam kar rahe hain to jackfruit se hamara supervisor jo bhi samjhe hamara kaam to ye samajhna hai ki kathal as a concept se wo community kaise engage karta hai aur agar community usko kathal bolta hai तो कठल से किस तरीके के एसोसिएशंस जुड़े हुए हैं उसको समझना तो ऑफ़ कोर्स हमारा पैराडाइम रिसर्च में शिफ्ट होना पड़ेगा राइट सो व्हाट यू आर शेयरिंग इज अ ट्रू प्रॉब्लम एंड इट्स कमिंग बिकॉज देर आर थ्योरिस्ट हु स्टिल वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड सोशल वर्ल्ड लाइक दे अंडरस्टैंड द फिजिकल वर्ल्ड दे थिंक दैट वर्ड आर स्टैटिक दैट वर्ड डो नॉट डिराइव मीनिंग फ्रॉम देर कॉन्टेक्ट वेर एज वी नो की वर्ड्स के मीनिंग एप्सल्यूट इंसुलेटेड स्पेस में नहीं होते हैं यू नो एक शब्द जो गाली हो सकता है वो दो दोस्तों के बीच में क्लोज इंटीमेसी का भी एक एक्सप्रेशन हो सकता है यू नो दोस्तों में एक दूसरे को कई बार कुछ गाली देना इट्स इट्स वेरी कॉमन राइट सो वो वर्ड गाली था या एक अफेक्शनेट वो था वो आप कॉन्टेक्स्ट के बिना नहीं समझ पाएंगे मैं सॉरी को बहुत अपोलोजेटिकली भी बोल सकती हूँ और सॉरी को बहुत सरकेस्टिकली भी बोल सकती हूँ यू नो सो अनलेस वी आर यू नो सो वी हैव टू 
try and understand and that is you know exactly the problem that i'm talking about when i say knowledge contribution when a language will determine all our research then anything that is outside the scope of that language can never become part of our theorization you know any lang isliye higher education mein you know i i recognize aspirations for english but why i'm saying that higher education will also have to be multilingual is because english cannot imagine all possible world views kyunki wo sare world views english mein hai nahi na matlab aap ye sochiye europe mein i i have faced less language you know i have uh, in kahin aur europe ke bahar mujhe language difficulty zyada nahi hui kyunki log angrezi samajhte hain jis continent mein england hai wahan pe koi angrezi mein bolna nahi chahta hai samajhna nahi chahta hai you will face more language problems in europe if you go to austria or germany or you know uh, czech republic or any other uh, france or spain uh, then you will <laughs> outside europe right people because they they understand the importance of discovering and expressing the world in their language i am not saying be jingoistic about language because i i really think multilingualism creates uh it 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 it's a way forward to a more democratic and socially just society if i have to engage with you i need to understand how you are using the meaning so if i don't understand your language i'll end up imposing my meaning on yours right and that is why higher education and research in multiple languages is important otherwise we will not understand any other social or physical reality that exists in domains outside english vocabulary which means our knowledge will whether it's the knowledge of the physical world of biological diversity you know like uh, sir earlier was talking about or about social theories of gender caste and so on uh, they will always remain exclusive or they will always impose a privileged meaning <laughs> experiences of the disprivileged there is another aspect to it uh, the question uh, sanjeev you have raised uh the, the power relation between a supervisor and the researcher i'm wondering how can a supervisor not understand uh, this this importance of using the term cuthel rather than uh, jackfruit why uh, he or she is proposing this word at first that's my question so somehow supervisors they practice power relations they think i am giving you freedom to do research so you are not free to do research you are not free to uh, use kathal it's the supervisor who is going to decide that what you are going to use so this this uh, the argument shivani uh, uh, espouses democratization of knowledge i would like to add democratization of research process and more and more uh, uh, researchers who who are democratic in true sense rather than uh, uh, functioning from a power relation perspective that you are supposed to do this and on the same uh, uh, side uh, they say that you are free as a researcher you are free to do your research so it's uh, it's or 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 uh, if i'm maybe i'm reading too much out of it that uh, some people they want to create a certain kind of knowledge when you bring in a new perspective from from kathal for example maybe that is not acceptable so a, a particular type of knowledge creation is is the aim thank you thank you dr namika thank you sanjeev for that question uh, kafi kafi mai uh, kahunga broad range of topics pe aaj discussion hua mujhe lagta hai jo nikal ke aaya wo ye tha ki language का एक्सेस हो के के रिगार्डिंग सवाल हो या फिर न्यू नॉलेज क्रिएशन के अराउंड हो उसको काफी अदर सपोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स की जरूरत टू मेक दैट हैपन जैसे कि लिस्ट हुआ काफी सारी बातें हुई पेडोगोजी उसके बाद लिटरेचर को डेवलप करना उसके बाद यूनिवर्सिटी में ऐसे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर क्रिएट करना टीचर्स की भी रिसोर्स में और कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग में इन्वेस्ट करना so that wo aspiration ki jo hum baat kar rahe the ki agar non english aspiration hai kisi kisi researcher ka ya usko space mil pae jaise sanjeev ne bhi last mein point out kiya ki university mein ek resistance tha pae us point of view ko 
तो आई थिंक वो बनाने की जरूरत है जो एक बहुत ही लार्जर स्ट्रक्चरल बैटल है जिसमें हम सबको मिलके अपने अपने तरीके से अब इन्वेस्ट करना है एंगेज करना है सो थैंक्स अ लॉट सब लोगों को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद डॉक्टर नामिका और डॉक्टर शिवानी नाग दोनों को जिन्होंने अपना समय दिया और थैंक यू संजीव मेरे को इन्वाइट करने के लिए एज अ मॉडरेटर ये सवाल मेरे पर्सनली बहुत करीब है एंड आई एम श्योर हम सब लोग इसके इस पे फर्दर एंगेज करेंगे और टच में रहेंगे इस क्वेश्चन के सो थैंक्स अलॉट Thank you, thank you very much, uh, uh, Gautam. And uh, uh, since you already have, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, given uh, vote of thanks to the all our speakers, and so I just, मैं थोड़ा सा opportunity ले करके अपनी तरफ से भी और पूरे group की तरफ से भी आप सभी का धन्यवाद करना चाहता हूँ आप लोग यहाँ पे आए इतना समय हालांकि आज हम लोग समय से cross कर गए और यही शायद अच्छी बात है कि हम लोग इतने discussion में शायद अभी और आगे चलता मेरे पास ही मेरे पास कई कई सवाल अभी पड़े हुए हैं मेरे अपने रिसर्च से मैं कुछ पेडिकोजिकल उसके ऊपर भी कुछ कार्टून्स वगैरह के ऊपर काम कर रहा था लेकिन बहुत साथ ज्यादा समय निकल चुका है तो मे बी हम लोग फिर से कभी बैठेंगे तो उसके ऊपर बात होगी तो फिलहाल के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद खास करके डॉक्टर शिवानी एंड डॉक्टर अनामिका इट वॉज रियली प्रिवलेज फॉर अस टू हैव यू बोथ ऑफ यू और गौतम आपसे तो फिर से अभी और इंगेज करना है आप काम के बारे में भी जानना है तो हम आशा करेंगे कि आप फिर से हमारे प्लेटफॉर्म पे आएंगे और अपने काम के बारे में बताएंगे थोड़ा सा क्या कर रहे हैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सभी पार्टिसिपेंट्स का और नेक्स्ट संडे हम लोग फिशिंग कम्युनिटीज कम्युनिटी फिशिंग मैनेजमेंट और फिशिंग कम्युनिटीज के ऊपर बात करेंगे जिसमें हमारे पास दो एग्जाम्पल रहेंगे एक मणिपुर से और एक तमिलनाडु से थोड़ा सा ये होगा कि उसको हम हिंदी में नहीं कर पाएंगे क्योंकि हमें वो पॉसिबल नहीं है मणिपुर और मणिपुर और तमिलनाडु के लोगों के साथ हिंदी में एंगेज करना फिर भी देखेंगे कोशिश करेंगे कितना हद तक हम कर पाए तो उसके लिए भी मैं आप सभी लोगों को इनवाइट करता हूँ नेक्स्ट संडे को यही समय रहेगा हमारा और यही टाइम रहेगा ग्यारह बजे बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आप सभी लोगों का